Today I'm going to show you how to tie a bracelet. A diagram and a pattern is on my blog and there will be a link for that in the description down here. To make this pattern you're going to need two doubles because we're going to do split rings. Then you're going to need some yarn and possibly some scissors. Let's do this. The first thing you're going to do is wind your shuttles. If at all possible, wind them continuously so that this thread goes directly from the one shuttle to the next without a knot or something like that. The first ring we're going to make is going to be 10 double knots and 10 double knots and it's going to be a split ring. So what we do is we make a normal ring and we're going to make 10 double knots as we usually would. Now to make the other tin, I'm going to grab the other shuttle and on the back I'm going to make the same stitches, the same knots, <laughs> but backwards. So one, oh, two, alright, so now I have 20 and all, and the first shuttle I, I made the first knots with, that's the one that can close this ring. So I'm just gonna close it. And that's the starting ring. And then we're gonna make a ring on either side with either one of our um, shuttles. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna start with this red one. I'm gonna just make a normal ring. And it's gonna be Maybe five double knots, so one. Then you're gonna make a key go. And then three double knots. So two. And then another pico. And then five double knots. And then we're gonna close this ring and make exactly the same ring on the other side with the other shovel. So now we're back at the same place where we have both the threads in the middle and we're now going to do the same ring as this one. So again 10 double knots on one side and then 10 double knots on the other. And again, the first shuttle we used is the one that can close the ring. So here we go. We should have something that looks oh, <laughs> a little like this. It's a little bit wonky in the beginning, but then as we progress and join these picots, it's going to be more sturdy. The next ring we're going to make is one of the big rings. And again, we're going to make one, <laughs> one on one side with one of the shuttles and one on the other side with the other shuttle. It is going to be 10. Then we're going to join to that. I'm going to make 6. I'm going to make uh, 3 picots um, separated by, by 1 at the uh, edge here. And then we're going to continue backwards with 6, a pico, and then 10. And then we're going to finish it. So when you're done with that entire ring, it's going to look like that. So there's 10 pico, 6 pico, 1 pico, 1 pico, 6 pico, and then 10. I'm just going to draw to close. So that's going to look like this. And now we're going to make the other big ring over here and join it to this pico. To continue, we're just going to make this ring again, and then the two small rings, and we're going to join these picots to the last picots on the big rings. And now again, we're at the, the point where we have both our threads in the middle, and we can continue 
working a split ring and then alternating big and small rings. For a bracelet you would probably choose a slightly smaller thread, but I hope this gives the general idea of how to make this pattern. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day.